I've been doing some troubleshooting on this transistor radio and using my signal tracer. I haven't really found any signal. And tuning through this also, I haven't been able to pick up anything, so I suspect that the oscillator is bad. Now I turn off the signal tracer and that's from the radio itself from the audio amplifier. So that's working. So if the oscillator is not working the radio won't play at all. So I've got my signal generator hooked up right here and I'm going to inject a signal right at the antenna, which is right here. And we definitely have something coming out of the radio. So I'm substituting the oscillator with the signal generator. So it's somewhat sensitive. But without the oscillator, nothing will come through the radio. This is a generic drawing of a transistor AM radio. And I injected a signal at this point, or maybe it was at this point, but very early in the front of the radio. And in the video, you saw that when I changed the frequency of the frequency generator, it actually tuned in stations like a regular AM radio. That's because that generator was taking the place of the local oscillator of the radio. So what that tells me is that all these coils are good, the IF cans and the audio is good, but maybe not the uh, oscillator coil. We'll have to check into that. And the oscillator for sure is not working. I've done some more troubleshooting on this radio and to narrow down where I have to look, you know, because you, there's lots of places to look here. Uh, this is the antenna down here and the oscillator sections in this area and then IFs and kind of curls back on itself because the audio output's here but the volume control's over here. Anyway, bridging a bunch of electrolytics didn't do anything, so I thought, well, I'll try uh, changing the bias on some transistors. And this is a 10K ohm resistor. Now 10K is high enough, shouldn't hurt anything. Um, so it's, it's trying to work, but still, you know, nothing here. The oscillator still isn't oscillating. So to shorten this video up quite a bit, 
I hooked this up to negative over here and I poked around uh, trying to hit the base of several re uh, transistors and when I got around here I could start hearing noise so I go that's encouraging So, Schenectady. We check into a shopping by about half, and it seems some of the speaker brown alert on 20. How many radio? What do Century 21 agents bring to the table? Play a show. $19.99 a month for 12 months. It's the best deal in entertainment. Call 1 888 So, I've got a problem. Looks like in this area are where these wires head out to. But anyway, that's very good news. That means that the oscillator transistor is good and all the caps in the oscillator are good because the uh, it tunes. So there's something wrong with the bias. Maybe I have an open resistor. But that's really good news. So now I'll uh, poke around here and see what I can find with how to use an ohm meter and uh, see if that uh, there's several resistors. Probably won't be able to see it, but there's several resistors right here. And it still could be a cap. But anyway, it's right around there and there's the oscillator coil right there. That is very good news that I got the radio to play, but now I got to figure out why by changing the bias is it playing. So we're going to take a much closer look at the oscillator area and check out the resistors and the capacitors even more and of course the coil and this transistor and I took some pictures all the way around it so I could look it up on the internet it's a 2SA102 PNP transistor So we'll do some testing and see what happens. Well, I did check the resistors and recheck the capacitors and didn't find anything wrong in this area here. So I decided I'll reheat the traces. And when I did that, it started to play for a while. And then the volume diminished and it stopped playing just like before so I reheated the traces again and it played very well again for a while and then stopped playing again so I decided that the transistor has to be bad this is the 2SA102 transistor and I replaced it with this Radio Shack transistor right here. General purpose PNP transistor. That would be so awesome! <laughs> Just in case you forgot. The fact that it worked yeah, caused you to perceive the risk. Right. It's like the guy. So now. So now I have another working radio. This is what the repair looks like on the foil side. 
and on the other side of the circuit board. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.